Over 700 schools nationwide will be postponing their classes or class openings after the facilities were ravaged by flood from monsoon rains and super typhoon Karina. And it isn't just that classrooms were damaged. Many public schools, especially in Metro Manila, are being used as evacuation centers while clearing operations are underway. But new DepEd Secretary Sonny Angara wants schools who did not sustain much damage to proceed with their school opening as scheduled. JC Cosico with the report. Schools across the country are set to open classes next Monday, July 29. But after the recent impact from the southwest monsoon, enhanced by Super Typhoon Karina, at least 738 schools nationwide won't be able to start classes. Cleanup efforts continue in several areas, including Quezon City. In Masambong High School, classrooms are filled with mud and trash, destroying facilities and learning materials. Ito na naman po na ulit po yung uh, parang undoy ulit. Nangihinayang po ako sa dami ng uh, mga gamit namin na sana ay eh, mapapakinabangan pa. Katulad po ng aking personal na uh, gamit na projector, uh, na nandiyan lang sa, sa, sa drawer at hindi ko na iuwi dahil hindi naman po inaasahan na darating po ulit itong ganitong panahon. Uh, itong lugar naman talaga dito ay binabaha. Nangyari ito noong panahon ng undoy pero mukhang itong bagyong karina, ito yung pinakamatindi dahil yung current ng tubig ay... Tuloy-tuloy uh, at umabot talaga hanggang sa kalahati ng second floor. Yung total devastation talaga ng mga ilang facilities. School personnel in Sergio Osmeña Senior High School are also trying to save as much learning kits as they can. The school, along with other affected learning institutions, have no choice but to postpone class opening to August 5. Dapat ang school is, of course, conducive and safe for our children. We want to make it sure na pagbalik ng mga bata, they are welcome and they are safe when they go to school. This is also the case for several schools in Marikina. Marikina City Mayor Marcy Teodoro said many public schools in the city still serve as evacuation centers while clearing operations are underway. And so postponing the start of classes will ensure the safety of students, parents, and school personnel. Meanwhile, for Deped Secretary Sonny Angara, postponing the school opening across the country will do more harm than good. He said for now, typhoon-affected schools are being given discretion to start classes late. Well, as a general rule, gusto natin makabalik talaga sa uh, July 29. No? Pero... Ano talaga, yung iba hindi talaga kakayanin. Kaya may datos tayo na isa tayo sa pinakamaraming missed school days sa buong mundo. So kaya gusto man ng iba na i-postpone talaga natin ng malawakan o wholesale yung postponement natin. We cannot do it because alam natin, what if next week may tumahama na namang typhoon, di ba? Pinospone natin. So yung may kaya, sana pumasok na sila. Because the learning loss is very real. According to DepEd, the most badly hit schools are in NCR, Calabarzon, and Central Luzon. These schools may be able to access DepEd's rehabilitation fund to get their facilities fixed. Based on DepEd's record, some 18 million students have enrolled for school year 2024 to 2025. For News 5, JC Cosico, We Are One News.